Halleluja. Good morning, CBG family. I'm so glad to be here with you. I'm so glad that I can give you the word of God and I hope that the word of God can change really the life of somebody or really can give him, lift him up. And so I want to start with a prayer and then we go straight to the message. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your presence and we thank you for all you have done for us. God, we know you are the, you're the father who never had let us down, who never left us, who was loyal to us till the end. And that's why we are so grateful to have you in our lives. Father, please let the words who are gonna be here today, that they are straightly from you, that they are not from somebody else, or no, that the word of God is gonna touch the heart of your people. So I thank you from all of my heart, and I say in your name, in the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. So, we start with um, Psalm 145, um, verse 18. The Bible says, The Lord is near to all who call him, to all who call him him truth. So, last week, in our youth service, a sister preached a really, really good message. She preached about the armor of God and uh, always heard about it. It's nothing new if you go to church. That's a message you hear often about the armor of God and all that. And she, remind, she reminded us that our fight is not against flesh and blood. The Bible tells us in uh, Ephesians uh, 6, 12 that it's, our fight is not against flesh and blood. It's against the power of the darkness. So, um, she continued and told us about each armor. And she said one thing, or one thing, it's, it is not an armor, but it's the most important part. And it's in Ephesians 6, um, 18. Yeah, Ephesians 6, 18. The Bible tells us in, uh, in verse 18, And pray in spirit and on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Keep praying. The prayer is not officially a, 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 a armor, but it's more like the, the battlefield. It's more like the battlefield where, where we get our victory. The prayer is the most important part of, of all those things. So, I said it's, it's, it's a battlefield for our victory, but the victory against what? What are we fighting against? There are many things we are fighting against. But one thing I want to talk about today, it's we are fighting against temptations. We have to pray against temptations. Then one thing I learned is, with, without a strong prayer life, it's going to be hard to resist temptations. Because let's be honest, how often we like uh, we try to go uh, to go away or like change our ways and not go back to sin, but we didn't pray as much as we should should have. And then we, we found ourselves back to those sins or back to those temptations. And let's be honest, temptations are, first, first they, they, they begin to be like sweet. It's never like, oh no, there, there, there's a kind of sweetness when, when people come with their temptations. And often we think about those old things and we say, okay, maybe... Maybe it's the last time. I'm going to do this one last time. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm 100% not going to go back. And we find ourselves always back, always back. Because our prayer life is not strong enough. It's not strong enough. And we're getting comfortable in these things. And it always reminds me on um, the moment uh, Jesus said, we can uh, we can read it in um, Matthew twenty six. Matthew twenty six. 
Yeah. Um, verse 41. The Bible says, Watch and pray so you, uh, you will not fail into temptations. He says, watch and pray. We have to keep praying. We have to keep praying because the prayer is gonna, this is gonna give us the focus. But he says some more, uh, something more important than that. He says, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Our flesh is weak. Whenever our focus is on our flesh, the enemy is not gonna get us. He's he's not stupid. He knows our problems. He knows what is hard for uh, for us to leave, and that's where he's gonna attack you. Always he's gonna attack you on that one thing. He knows your he, he, maybe I don't know. Let's say you are you 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 are bad in something. He's gonna remind you of that. He knows our weaknesses, and that's why we have to pray always because prayer is is the only way. To get our uh, spiritual focused, um, and to be spiritual focused, it's more it's important that you that we pray, but it's always important that we know the word of God. It goes hand to hand. Amen. And another thing I want to talk about what we are fighting against is uh, we have to pray against threat. There are so much things, so much people who are going to hate you when you spread the word of God. There, there are a lot of people who are going to receive the word of God, who are going to receive Christ, and we're going to be happy. But there are always be people who are, who are going to be like defensive when they, they, heard, uh, they, they hear the word of God. And some of them are quite aggressive. Now the thing is, if you don't pray, you're going to like, I don't know how I can say that, prayer is going to give you the strength to not be discouraged. Because I saw a lot of people who, who started right he spread the word of God, but there was so much negative energy, so much people who hated them because of the word of God. So they, they quit because they, they thought, it's, no, it's too hard. But I'm telling you, you have to pray to stay strong because God is going to give you strength. And it, it reminds me also to a, in another story. It's in Act chapter 4. It's in Acts chapter 4. Um, uh, there were, uh, I think it was John and uh, Pete and Peter. And there were people holding them and say, you, don't ha you can't speak about the word of God on the streets because the next time we catch you, we're going we're gonna, like, to uh, go to prison. They really, I, I, I mean, there really wasn't like much options they told them you can't say the word of god on the streets and they threatened them and it was, it was for me it's 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 so special that the one thing they did after that was that they went back to their people and the first thing they they did was pray they didn't i don't know maybe some some of them were a little bit feared about that, but they prayed. And in verse 31, look what, what the Bible uh, tells us after they prayed. After they play, uh, prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. And they were all filled by the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. The thing I want to focus on is they spoke the word of God boldly. You know why? Because prayer lifted them up. The Holy Spirit catched them. God is really willing to hear your prayer. He's gonna, you're gonna get his, you're gonna get, you're not gonna uh, like 
preach the word of God without his strength. Trust me. If you try to do this without him, you're not going to, like, don't going to do it for a long time. Because there are so much people. They are, they are coming after you. And they are, they are not stopping. They are not stopping to tell you, no, your faith is wrong. Or that Jesus, he, he isn't real. Or oh, God, it's not, it's not real. You have to pray to be, to, to be not discouraged from all those words. And the most important thing is that while you're praying, that you have faith that the thing you're praying for is going to happen. Like, praying and faith, they are going hand to hand. It's like, you need both of them. You need both of them. You know, because when we, when we go through the Bible... We, saw, we see all those people who Jesus healed. Sometimes he said, um, your, your faith is big. So they get, they get healed. It, it always reminds me um, on the story in Matthew chapter 15. Yeah. Matthew chapter 15, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a woman, she comes to Jesus and tells, uh, tells him, my daughter, she's like, there, there are demons in her, and I don't know what to do. And after a while, Jesus saw the, saw, saw the kid, and she... He saw the faith in her. He saw the faith in her. And he says in verse 28. Yeah. Then Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. You know, all we have to do is to show God that our faith is great. That our faith is real. That we believe that God can change things. We have to be honest. And because faith is, no, prayer is like an attitude like, if you, if you pray it's like, and you have faith, it's like you are telling God, God, I trust you, but I'm also willing to wait. I'm also willing to wait. And that's the most important thing that we show God. God, I believe that you can change things, but I'm also willing to wait till you are doing that. So, that's the, the reason why I chose Psalm 145. Because I want to show you through the word of God that God is willing to hear your prayer. He's willing to change. But we have to start talking to him. We have to start praying to him. We have to start communicating with him. Because the moment we do that, you're going to see change in your life. You're going to see temptations have no chance against you. And wherever, whenever people come to you with their negative thoughts, with their negative energy, you're not going to be discouraged because God is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to pray. God, I thank you for your message. I thank you for your word. I thank you for everything you have done for us. All those moments where we were in sin and you, you, you took us back. You never were like really far from us. You were always by us. And I will thank. You. I want to thank you for all this, all those things. I want to let everyone of my family in Christ in your hands because I believe that you can change their lives. You can change, you changed my life. And I know you're going to change so much more lives. So let us be like your people who, who are really living in your word and like spreading your word because I know this generation has the tools to change a lot of lives through you. Thank you, God, for everything. And I say in your name, the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Hallelujah.